I'm Cynthia. Welcome to another cozy art vlog. I'm wishing you a great weekend ahead or a great week ahead, sending you tons of inspiration. Today, I want to explore expressive portraits, mainly in charcoal, but maybe a few other things. I want to keep things minimal and very expressive, like bordering on abstract. Let me show you. I had done these in charcoal a long while ago. Don't know if this might or might not be your cup of tea, but I love them. I like the movement. There's not much details. You know, it's a portrait. Hold on, Lennox just visited with us. So you know it's a portrait, but there's a lot of movement, a lot of expression and character. I think this, this one is nice. This one might be my favorite because it's very minimal. There's a lot of white space. I like these bold lines here. I like the expressivity in it. And that's what I would like to capture today. So I'm gonna try a few drawings, not just one. I have a couple of reference photos. I'm doing self-port... He's just yawned, how cute. I'm doing self-portraits or maybe David, just because if I make the portraits look monsterific, nobody will mind. I'm all set up on the wall with large format papers. I have a few goodies on the table ready to go. I think I'll mostly use charcoal because it's really my favorite. I like the feel of it. I like the black and white uh, rendering, but I might also include some other stuff, maybe a little bit of um, Sangin, like the burnt orange one, and maybe royal pastel even. As always, I'm gonna try to keep it fun, very spontaneous, not have expectations, and really be in the moment and explore a few different things. Let's get started and then we'll see. We'll see how it comes out. Summer 
It might not look like it, but I worked all day at this. So the light has changed, it's evening now. And I feel like I did a lot of experimenting. Remember I showed you at the beginning the drawing that I was kind of going for. I didn't quite succeed in the minimalism. I find that once I got in the heat of the moment, I kept going and going where I would have liked to stop at a certain point and move on and keep things more unfinished. That's something to work towards. I feel like this one is a little bit more what I was looking for. So I left a lot of white, but somehow it's still a little bit... I don't know, there's something that's not quite coming together for me. I do love in all of the drawings that I got, I like the way the eyes come out, most of the mouth. I like that line work that's very erratic. I like that, so I wouldn't change any of that. What I don't like as much is, I guess, the hair in all of them, the composition. So taking up the whole space, maybe I should work more on leaving more white spaces and where the face is placed on my surface. So pay more attention to the composition. This one, for instance, is a little bit cartoony, a little bit too cartoony for my liking. I do like the line work, that erratic line, but maybe it's because of this big uh, black mass around it. It just became cartoony, which is not something I'm looking for. So I guess I'm looking for something that's a little bit more like that, but less blending and a tighter composition, probably. This is probably the most successful. I experimented with Sanguin here. I wanted to see with a little bit of color what it would do. I think I went a little too strong on the color, but I do like the mix of a black and a color. So maybe if I had left that Sanguin on the skin tone in the central part of the portrait, it would have been more interesting than putting it a little bit everywhere. I think we would have, I would have had that pop and it would have been more interesting. Again, in this one, I do like the line work here. I think it makes it interesting and dynamic. I guess my next step to be able to reach that minimalism would be to work faster on a smaller scale. So maybe do 10 or 12 smaller portraits and maybe time myself, give myself maybe five minutes a portrait to go a lot faster and prevent that overworking and going a little bit too far. I guess that would be the a good plan to try this again. I wanna keep doing a whole bunch of these, like keep working at it until I get to a nugget that I like. So far, I'm liking the eyes, I'm liking the line work, the mouths are pretty good. I have to work on composition, skin texture, not doing too much of that, and the hair. The worst part about these is probably the hair. Let me know what you think. Maybe you're seeing something I'm not seeing and I really like to read your opinions. If you like expressive art, please subscribe and hit the bell. Hitting the bell makes a big difference. Thank you so much in advance. If you want more inspiration, you can watch this one next. And I will see you in just a few days for another one. Thanks for watching, bye. I guess I like this one the most. I like this nose. This mouth, 
this composition and these eyes. They're all weird though. I know. 